So we are watching our friend's bunny for a few weeks while he's on vacation. Can't take the bunny with him. So he asked if we'd watch it. And um, I first went actually to his house and hung out a little bit with the bunny, Bun Bun Tony, just to make sure that I wasn't allergic to the rabbit because I am allergic to some animals, uh, some cats with certain type of fur, which is unfortunate because I like cats. But uh, in any case, we don't really have many pets. Actually, we don't have any pets, but uh, we feared we um, we agreed to watch this rabbit for him. And uh, it's been a nice experience. Uh, some getting a little bit of adjustment, getting used to. But she's very sweet, and uh, tries to get out every so often. So that actually brings me to why I'm making this video because something I realized from watching this bunny is that. In advertising and movies and all this type of stuff, we are usually bombarded with this message of like excitement and change and, and all these things happening. And I've come to realize that many times life isn't exactly like that. Let's take, for example, this bunny, right? So at nighttime, she usually goes up against the pen over here and tries to find a way, I don't know if it's trying to find a way out exactly, but um, exploring, let's say. Okay, and as you can see, I don't know if you see here, we've put some little barricades on the outside just so that when she pushes on the pen, these uh, pieces don't move. Because, guess what? She, her weight, she can actually move these things a little bit and then find a way out to the edges and has been roaming around the house every so often. <laughs> okay, but the point about this is, is that when she does that, when she's successful, she's finally able to find a way out or make it a, a, an escape for herself, right? There's no alarm that goes off. There's none of this tense music that would be happening in a movie, you know? It's all very quiet. Bun Bun never makes any noise at all. As much as I would pet her, you know, and uh, and you can she, she enjoys this. She really does, right? But she doesn't purr like a cat or anything like that. She's completely silent. Like the whole, it's it's very interesting to be consider to experience life if there's like no sound. Like recently, the the Olympics were happening, right? And to watch the routines with the music versus watching the routines without music. Is a very different experience, right? Sound contributes a lot to the emotion and the feeling of what's going on in life. However, at the same time, the reality is that things move forward and things happen even without this music, okay? And we can I just want to appreciate and bring out this idea that 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 we should be looking for to to appreciate how much we can accomplish and, and do, even when there isn't any of this like, excitement music or mysterious music or whatever like, company music that we're having in a, a movie or whatever, or advertising would have you think is happening, that really a lot can be going on and progressing, even when it's small and quiet. And with, with that said, I'm I'm trying to do to move it myself as well to move forward and maybe make more of these videos, uh, maybe my artwork and things like that. Where it'd be so nice if I had a million followers tomorrow, but at the same time, that's not realistic. And it's again trying it's it's getting too caught up in outcomes and trying to see things in it from uh, like seeing too much too fast. And I feel really I just enjoy the process, the small, quiet day by day steps and see where things go. So that's that's uh, also, thanks to Bun Bun, a little bit of motivation for me, and uh, we'll see what happens.